Come on, man. Wake up. Get smart. So we help felons, sisters who are pregnant, who need help. We refer people. Oh, you need an electrician? Hey, I got this. I collect all the business cards. Hey, call this brother. Oh, you need a mechanic? Oh, go and see him. Tell him I sent you. If you have a problem with him, you come back and you tell me. I'll go to him and we'll get, we'll get the problem straight. So why did I get my degree? I got my degree so I can help African people. And the only way I can help them is for me to learn everything that's on planet Earth. I study everything. I study science. I study history, education, mathematics. I study everything. And if we're not studying everything, why am I studying all of this? I'm studying it because I'm trying to find a solution to the problem. A brother came up to me the other night. He said, oh, we met a couple of weeks ago, and you would tell, I told you I'm writing a book. I said, oh, yeah, I remember. I told him where we met. He said, oh, I can't remember where we met. I said, we met so-and-so. It was about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and you were in this so-and-so. He said, yeah, that's right. He said, I followed up on the things you told me. He said, that's very fascinating. I told him about Emoto's work, about the water and the configuration of the water. Emoto has the books. Messages from Water. And he said, that's very fascinating. I'm going to try to include that in my book. I said, well, that's wonderful. I said, let me tell you about a couple other books. Check out the book, The Historical Origin of Christianity. He said, oh, no, I don't want to look at that. I got everything I need. I said, look, man, an educated person leaves no stone, no stone unturned. How are you going to write a book and you're limited in your knowledge, in your range of knowledge? You're going to just mislead people because you don't have all the correct life-saving information. So why did I get my degree? Because I've been set on this course, apparently, to get all the knowledge that is available so that when somebody calls me, I could talk with them about anything. Oh, are you from Philly? Yeah, you know, so-and-so, well, Mia is in, Philly, is in Philly. Why did I get my degree? Because all the black political prisoners, Matula Shakur, Russell Maroon Schultz, Mumia. You got black political prisoners languishing in prison for 30 years, 35 years, because they wanted the liberation of our people. So I write to them, we got a black political prisoners committee to try to help them, let people know that this is going on. Why they get my degree? So we could open, start a chess club for little children, especially boys, to teach them about strategy and to project into the future. If you make this move here, this is what will be the result. So we did African dance. We did capoeira. We had the speakers come in. There's so many things to try to help Africans get on the right track. I had the speakers come in about diet getting yourself right, finances, getting your money right, know how to spend your money, spend your money wisely. Don't support the white dominators. So why did I get my degree? I got my degree so I could come. So you couldn't come and tell me, well, I'm not listening to you. You don't have a degree. Say, hey, I'm certified in all these areas. I'm certified in like six areas. What else you need? So you can't run that on me. You just want to commit subtle suicide. That's what you are bent on. You are bent on your own destruction. I got the correct life-saving information. It's right here. So why did I get my degree? I got my degree so that I could help as many African people come to the realization that we need to solve this problem, the major problem on planet Earth, once and for all. I came and got my degree so that we don't stay on the treadmill of talking about the same things over and over and over again. So don't call me about things that have been already covered. So you call me about religion, I said, Walter Williams told you about this. Dr. John Jackson wrote The Pagan Origin of the Christ Myth. Kersey Graves wrote 16 Saviors, 16 Crucifixions.
crucified saviors before Christ. Henry Hubert Harrison told us about this already. Don't bring that to me. Economics, Amos Wilson, Blueprint for Black Power. Juwanza Kunjufu, Black Economics. Paul Barton, Susu and Susunomics. Elijah Muhammad, Do for Self. So don't come to me talking about things we already covered. We came to a conclusion on that. We finished with that. Don't come to me with these things to bring me, like Michael Corleone said, every time I try to get out, they bring me back in. They drag me back in. So don't drag me to that. That's why I'm not in any group. I'm not in a civic group. I'm not in a political group. I'm not in a religious group. I'm not in a fraternal group. I'm not in those groups. I am here standing alone. I am here standing alone. I'll talk to you by phone, talk to you by phone, but we are not connected. You don't know me like that. I met a brother. We did the Nat Turner panel last week, and I've known the brother 30 years. He's known me 30 years, but he didn't know me until after the panel. He came up to me. He said, oh, wow. He said, yeah, I know you now. I said, yeah, but you didn't know me before. And I'm not trying to run. Like, this, is, this is who I am. Professor, forget the professor stuff, man. Forget it. Titles, throw all the titles away. Throw all the titles in the garbage. They only separate us. Somebody says, oh, you're an elder. Brother, come on, you're an elder. No, I'm not an elder. I don't want to be an elder. Don't put me in a category. You're a black nationalist. I'm not a black. I'm not in a category. You're pan-African. I'm not in a category. Forget it. Take all those titles, put them in a basket, and throw them in the river. As a matter of fact, we don't want to throw them in the river because we don't want to pollute the river. So I greet you tonight, Brother Gus, when the brother said, well, why did you get your degree? Hey, I got my degree so I could help liberate African people. And so I greet you with the words of black liberation. And the disinformation is, of course, I think very, very important and significant for us to know and for us to share. And with that, I say, you say, brother, you always talk about black liberation. What is this black liberation? Well, I say that black liberation is, black liberation eclipses and trumps anything and everything any African can think, say, or do. Other than breathing air and eating good, healthy, organic food and drinking clean water, those three together as one, other than doing those things, black liberation eclipses and trumps anything and everything else. So if you come into me with anything other than that, you're wasting your time. Black liberation is the only philosophy, ideology, concept, and action that can liberate us from under white terror domination. 